Israel doesn't produce oil and gas or hydroelectric power, but it does have one asset that could potentially be vital for energy production. The CBC's Peter Armstrong ventured deep into the Negev Desert in the south of Israel to check it out. He has this report on a remarkable energy experiment. Deep in the heart of the Negev Desert, there is but one natural resource, the sun beating down, scorching the earth. This research facility is trying to harness those relentless rays. You're saying this is the basically the, the coming out party of solar energy? I hope so. I really hope so. Professor David Feynman has been working for 30 years and finally has found the breakthrough he's been waiting for. He's built a new, tiny solar panel that holds unprecedented amounts of heat and transforms it into electricity. Using this dish, essentially a giant mirror, he concentrated the light of a thousand suns onto the new panel. The result was staggering. So these ones here produce one watt. One watt each, yes. This, this one, 1,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing, isn't it? What it really means, he says, is that solar energy can now compete with traditional energy sources on a large scale. Building a series of dishes concentrating light onto these tiny panels, Feynman says he would need just 12 square kilometers to create 1,000 megawatts of energy at competitive costs. 1,000 megawatts is 10% of Israel's present generating capacity. Okay, it's enough for something like a million people. All of this has dramatically changed the landscape of solar energy. Once a bit player, now a realistic, viable, pollution-free alternative to conventional energy sources. Experts say with projects like this, solar energy has truly arrived on the scene. From the quiet of a desolate desert research station to the bustle of an industry working at full capacity, solar energy is big business here. Solel Industries watched sales soar past the $100 million mark last year. Their technology involves using huge concave mirrors to make steam. Just two weeks ago, the Israeli company signed a contract to build the world's biggest solar energy plant in the Mojave Desert in California. More than a million mirrors, 600,000 acres and 550 megawatts of power. Solel won't disclose exact figures, but the solar energy will be sold between 10 and 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Solel's president and CEO says that falls well within today's market figures. Uh, actually, after we return the loan for construction of such a plant, we are the cheapest power, not competitive, we are the cheapest power because it costs you a few cents to operate and maintain such a plan. Here in Israel, almost all the energy comes from coal-fired generators. Scientists say in this land of sun, using solar energy designed and built by Israelis is a no-brainer. So we're actually choking to death with the amount of fossil fuel we're using. So that's one reason that we need to go uh, solar. And the other reason is that uh, Israel is one of the few countries in the world that has absolutely no natural sources of uh, fuel. But like most countries in the world, Israel has chosen to wait and see. The fact is solar energy remains untested on a large scale, so few politicians are willing to take what they still see as a large financial risk. But Feynman says solar energy has crossed a threshold, making it competitive and a reality politicians can no longer ignore. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, in the Negev Desert.